Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am gonna be talking to you guys all about my pumping routine. If you are new around here, my name is Becca. I'm a registered dietitian and I make lots of videos here on my channel about nutrition, health and wellness, but also some non-toxic living and now motherhood. And I would love for you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. So if you are new around here, um, a little bit of background. I have a baby girl, her name is Hayden. She is just about nine months um, when I am filming this video and I have been um, breastfeeding, nursing her since she was born. And I recently shared um, on my Instagram, I was showing you guys the inside of my freezer, which is completely overflowing with frozen breast milk. And I had tons of questions about like what my pumping routine is, why I even pump since I mainly nurse her, just lots of questions about the whole thing. So I figured I would make a um, video about it so that you know the answers to those questions and all of that information about my personal routine can just have like a permanent place to live here on my YouTube channel. So let's just dive right in. I will start with what my actual like routine is because it is so simple. Um, all I do is I pump once a day in the morning um, for 10 minutes. So I pump right after Hayden's morning feeding. So right when we get up in the morning, I feed her and then I immediately pump and I just do it for 10 minutes and then whatever milk I get that day, I store in the freezer. So I started doing this when Hayden was like one month old um, and there are lots of reasons why I decided to do this and I'm gonna go through all of that to kind of share with you guys why I pump, why I've built up a freezer stash. Um, because I do nurse her, I nurse her like probably 95% of the time because I'm Home with, her, home with her all day, and it is pretty rare that she gets a bottle, but she does sometimes get bottles. So that's the first reason. Um, I started pumping so that I could have the ability to give her an occasional bottle. So I learned this routine or technique, I guess, um, from the IBCLC I worked with in the very beginning when Hayden was teeny tiny um, to work out our you know breastfeeding issues. So basically what I do is every morning I pump for 10 minutes. So I have this pumping session that's just built into my daily routine. It's just part of something I do. So that way, if there's ever a time where, you know, I'm gonna go out to dinner with Matt, um, or I'm just gonna be out of the house for a few hours without her, um, and she's just gonna need to get one bottle, that way um, I've already kind of pumped for that day and we can just give her some of the stored frozen milk, heated up, you know, thawed obviously. Um, and I don't necessarily have to like pump to replace that feeding because I've already technically pumped that day. So my goal overall is every day to have all of like the nursing sessions I normally have with Hayden, which in the beginning was eight and then it went down to seven and now it's six. Um, you know, and every baby's a little bit different, but um, in addition to those feedings, I always have one extra stimulation, which is that pumping session. So I just try and hit that total every single day. So right now we're feeding, I, I feed her six times a day. Um, so I just try and get seven stimulations. And then on those odd days where I am out of the house or whatever, and she needs that one bottle, I don't, I just, I just don't pump an extra time to replace that feeding. I just forget it that one day and I just have one less stimulation because I don't pump. But it's nice because it's already built into your routine. I do it first thing in the morning, I get it out of the way. So if there is a time she needs a bottle, she can just have the bottle and I don't have to worry about pumping at that time or, or, or like figuring out how to replace that certain feeding, it's already been done. So that is the first reason that I started pumping. I wanted to have the ability to give her an occasional bottle um, so that I could have that freedom to have a little bit of time outside the house or out to dinner or whatever, just so that I had the ability to do that. And then the second reason I wanted to start pumping is because I just wanted to build up a freezer stash. I wanted to have a solid stash of freezer, um, of milk in my freezer for lots of reasons. Um, one, um, I had a few different trips planned um, during her first year. I still have some trips planned. During her first year of life, a couple of bachelorette parties, um, just random trips that were gonna be going on. And I knew I was gonna be away from her for a few days, some weddings and stuff. So I wanted to have plenty of milk. I didn't wanna think about having to you know, scramble to start pumping to build up the milk that I needed for those trips. I just figured it was so much easier to just do it once a day. It's part of my routine. It only takes 10 minutes. Even though I do, honestly, I dread it. It's annoying. I don't like pumping, but it's so quick and painless and it's not that big of a deal. But that way I had plenty of milk stored and whatever trip I would need to go on, I wouldn't have to think about it. I just knew we'd have plenty stocked in the freezer and we would be good to go. Another reason I have continue to pump, still pump, is because for me, it has been such a great um, kind of check-in with my milk supply. 
So every single day I get different amounts of milk. It's n literally never the same. It's always around the same range um, because it just depends on how much Hayden eats, how much I made overnight. Um, and it's always around the same, but it's never exactly the same. So I've noticed that, you know, if I see a big dip um, in the amount of milk I'm getting in the morning, A, either I need to like change out the pump nozzles because they're not strong enough, um, like I need to replace them, or um, I may be not eating enough or not drinking enough water. I'm just like too busy and not taking in enough calories and not getting enough water intake in. So on those occasions, it's been really helpful because I'm like, ooh, better get my butt in gear because that is definitely less than I'm used to seeing. So I wanna make sure that I am, you know, doing what I need to do to take care of myself so that my supply can be as, you know, as um, robust as it can be. And another reason why I'm, why I'm still pumping is honestly, I didn't plan on pumping <laughs> this far into her first year. I figured I would have cut it off way before then, or way before now. But it's been really nice, obviously, to have the freezer stash. It's kind of just nice for me to know that, you know, God forbid, if something happens to my supply before that one year mark, um, I have plenty of milk in the freezer and it's something I'm continually adding to. Um, so hopefully we would be okay and she wouldn't end up needing formula, which would not be the worst thing in the world. But hey, if I've got the milk now, might as well pump a little bit each day to store it up just in case I need it. It. and if I don't end up needing it I can donate it which is really awesome um, on Instagram actually when I was talking about this someone recommended to me it's called human milk for human babies there's one in every single state I looked up the Delaware one there's a Facebook group and I joined it so that I can start because now I have milk that's like approaching the like six month mark that we haven't used up yet so I can just donate it to moms in the area um, so that's just kind of another reason why I'm like well I guess I have the milk it's already part of my routine. I'll just keep pumping and worst case I and worst case would be a best case I get to donate it. Okay, so that is why I pump. That is how I pump. That is when I pump <laughs> all the details about um, Why I'm doing this, but I thought I would also show you guys the actual pump that I use because I was really curious about pumps and like what I should get before or like when I was pregnant. I did get it through my insurance um, so I have the Spectra S2, so I love it. Um, the other really popular pump is the Medela Pump and Style. I think that one might honestly be a little bit more popular than the Spectra one, but I read a lot of reviews and um, one of the things about this one is it's much quieter and it really is so quiet and I've, I've heard the Pump and Style and that thing is loud. That may not bother you, but that would like annoy me and I just, it's, Pumping is already kind of annoying, to be honest. So anything I can do to make it less annoying, um, I was like, yes, give me the quieter one. So I have a Spectre S2. It's really easy to use. It comes with um, bottles, obviously, with the um, like flanges on there. The only downside to this pump versus the pump and style is this like top part is all one piece. You can't like take off the flange, which I'm almost positive you can do with the pump and style. Um, so easier to clean, also easier to like put into a, a nursing bra or things like that, or pumping bra. Um, but it hasn't really bothered me. It's worked great. I really like it. Um, and if you're curious about settings, because that was another thing when I first got my pump, I was like, what are all these settings? I don't know. Um, what am I supposed to be doing? So with this one, it's cool because they have like a, um, there's two different settings. There's like a, a letdown setting where the, it's a much faster suction. Um, so you do that for like the first few minutes. I usually do it for like the first two to three minutes um, to encourage a letdown. Um, and then you can switch to like the regular pump setting that's just like the normal speed. So what I do um, on this pump is, oh, I just realized it's not plugged in. I don't even have the plug plugged into this because I brought it. To show you guys so i can't show you the exact settings but i will write them down in the description box i will tell you the settings that i use um and when i first started pumping i used it on like a very low setting and i've been pumping for nine months now so it is like up high almost to the highest if not the highest setting so if you're brand new you don't want to be going that high but eventually your nipples you know they just get used to it and you just need more and more stimulation to make it happen and then I will also leave you with one last tip with the pump because I don't know if I was just a first time mom and so dumb and I'm the only one that did this, but I have a feeling that I wasn't. So if you are just like me and you were just testing out the pump to see how it works and you weren't really trying necessarily to have a pumping session, the first time I ever did this, I only plugged in one of these tubes and one bottle because I literally just wanted to see how it worked. But you guys, if you only have one tube in and you don't have like the little stopper on, um, 
it's not going to work. So I was like, oh my God, there's something wrong with my pump. Spent hours trying to figure it out and didn't realize that I, because it's a closed system. So you either need to have both of these tubes plugged in or as you can see, there is a little nozzle right here that you can like cap off the other um, line if you're only gonna be using one. Most of the time you're gonna be pumping with both, so you're not really gonna need that. So make sure to plug in both if you're going to test it out and if you're gonna pump, do both. But I just wanted to share that because I was like, if I ever make a video, a video about pumping, I will include that tip because it totally threw me for a loop. I even brought the pump to my IBCLC session and was like, something's wrong with this. And she was like, oh girl, you just gotta like, plug that in. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay guys, so that is it for this video. That is my pumping routine. I hope you enjoyed watching this and hopefully you learned something new. If you are a fellow pumping mama, I hear you, especially if you pump full time, I send you all the positive vibes and love because pumping is such a labor of love and it is not easy. It can be a real pain in the butt. So I give you all the credit and all the kudos if that's what you are up to because it's not easy. And if you are expecting right now and you're watching this to learn a little bit more about what your future is going to hold if you're going to pump, I wish you all the best. I hope you have the best birth. Um, I actually have a whole video on my birth story here on my channel. Um, if you want to check it out to hear just like a really nice positive birth story because that's what I was always looking for when I was pregnant. Um, but best wishes to see you. I'm so excited for you. Becoming a mom is the best thing ever and you're going to be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.